In this video, we're going to discuss systems of linear equations in two variables. And first, we're just going to start off with an introduction. Um, so when two lines are drawn in the coordinate system, how many geometric relationships are possible? So let's think about two lines being drawn. What are the different ways that they could appear being drawn? So one is just like the standard. I'm not going to draw the coordinate plane. We could pretend it's there. But we could just have the ones that, that cross somewhere, that intersect somewhere. And when lines intersect like this, uh, they meet right here. And so we would say that that is one solution. So we define a solution of a system of equations, that point that's on both lines. Um, so this would be intersecting lines, and they meet at one solution. Another one that might pop out at you, another way that lines could uh, be drawn in a coordinate plane, they could be parallel to each other. And one thing we know about parallel lines is that they don't actually ever intersect. So if we have parallel lines, then that means that we would have no solution, because they would never intersect. That would be a contradiction to the definition of Euclidean parallel lines. The third one is a little bit tricky. Sometimes students say, oh, well, they could be perpendicular. And that's true, they could, but that would be intersecting and go back to our one solution. The third thing that two lines could do is they could actually overlap with each other. They could actually be the same line. And then in that case, any point that's a solution of one equation would also be a solution of the other equation and there would be infinitely many solutions. Now, how can we recognize, if we're given equations, whether there's going to be one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions? Well, one solution, they would have two different slopes. That's how we know that there's going to be one solution, is we have two different slopes. So the two equations each have their own slope and is not the same. Two different slopes. For no solution and infinitely many solutions, they have the same slope. So in both cases, they have the same slope. So what's the difference between no solution and infinitely many solutions? Well, in this case, the two lines have the same slope, uh, but they have different y-intercepts. Different y-intercepts. And infinitely many solutions, I, they're the same equation. So not only do they have the same slope, but they also have the same y-intercepts. 